Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Molly. Today I'm just going to do this really quick everyday makeup routine. This is what I do every day if I'm putting makeup on. I mean, I don't put makeup on every day, but if I do, then this is what I'll do. You'll have to excuse my terrible skin. It's recovering from a really bad breakout but I just really wanted to film this video for you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Before I start anything, I really like to spritz my face and make it really moisturized. I have already cleansed, toned, and moisturized my face before I started this routine, but I do then go in and also spray it with this um, Tarte Makeup Setting Spray. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this lip balm on my lips as well, just so it soaks in while I'm actually doing the routine. I'll then curl my eyelashes and I use this Kevin Aquan um, eyelash curler which I really love. So I've recently been watching this makeup artist on YouTube. I can't remember his name, but I will try and pop it up on screen once I remember later on. But he does the foundation first and I just really love how it turns out. So I've actually started doing that myself. And the foundation that I use is this um, Giorgio Armani uh, Luminous Silk, which I know has just been around for years and everyone uses it, but I just really love it. And I've tried to change onto other foundations and I just don't find them as good. It's a really light coverage, but you can also build it up as well so that it looks a little bit more full coverage. I like to just apply it straight on my face just so I don't waste any. And then I use this foundation brush from Makeup Geek. It's called Face Buffer Brush. And I just really love this. It's nothing special, but um, I just love how it spreads the foundation out and just gives it a really nice, light finish. I then do my eyebrows, and I'm still using this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and the little brush which I've had probably for like 10 years or not the same pot for 10 years but I've done I've used this pot for like 10 years if that makes sense yeah I probably need to try out some new products on my eyebrows I did try the refi products on my eyebrows and I really like the gel which you'll see later I do use that but the actual eyebrow pencil and stuff I just can't get my head around it like it just doesn't look nice on me so I just stick with what I know this is what I've used for years probably need to update it but there you go so I just brush the eyebrows out and then I just try to do like really light hair like strokes but it's really hard to explain it and do it at the same time so hopefully I'm explaining this properly or you can just kind of see what I'm doing my eyebrows have actually got much fuller over the years. I actually don't thread them anymore, so that might be one reason. And I also use oil on them as well, which I've found has made a massive difference. Every night after I've washed my face, I put oil on my eyebrows and they've really grown massively. I just pluck like any hairs that, once I see that it starts to get a little bit hairy underneath, I just pluck them away. I just find it much nicer. I actually went to get them threaded probably like three months ago and the lady was like oh you really need these done and you're gonna love it after I finished threading these and I looked at it after and I was like oh my god like what have you done to my eyebrows they just look too perfect I like them a little bit rough if that makes sense like kind of fluffy and natural yeah a little bit natural not too kind of drawn on I feel like that drawn on looks really dated so then for my eyeshadow I'm using this NARS assist palette this is what it looks like it's really old and I've used it to death I pretty much use it daily or if I'm putting makeup on then I use this palette so I'm gonna go into this shade not sure what it's called I think it's called privilege anyway in the palette it's this one sorry this one and I'm using a Tom Ford brush this brush is incredible I would recommend anyone to buy it I mean brushes are just brushes but this one is really amazing and I just apply the eyeshadow all over my eyelids. I just kind of use this as a bit of a primer just to kind of set, set the eyelids so that the rest of the eyeshadow goes on really nicely. I then get this Charlotte Tilbury brush and I go into this colour and I start on the inside of my lid in the crease and then work my way out. 
I then try to pull the eyeshadow up to kind of give it a lifted effect. You don't need too much because you don't want it to look too harsh. And then I'll go in with a slightly darker colour and I'll just stay closer into the crease if that makes sense. So I won't spread out as much. Again, starting in the corner. So once I've done that, I'll then kind of swipe over the lid and just pull everything down and just blend it out nicely. I then use this YSL crush liner. This is actually really new to my routine. I just bought this last week, so, and I'm really loving it. I used to just use eyeshadow, a little bit of brown eyeshadow with the pencil along the top of the lid, but I find this much nicer. You don't get as much fallout on your face and stuff like that, so that's why I got this. And I just start on the outside of my lid and then go smaller as I get to the inner, if that makes sense. Okay, I might need to grab a bit of a closer mirror because I can't really see what I'm doing in the viewfinder. Okay, so then I can get the pencil brush and just smudge that out just so it doesn't look so neat and perfect. It looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so that's how it will look. It's not kind of too perfect, it looks quite natural. Then with this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna go into the slightly darker color and go under my eyes. Okay, so then I'll go back over my foundation again. Just really slightly, not a lot. You literally need one squirt for your whole face. So, you just don't want too much, unless you're going kind of out somewhere and you want more full coverage. I just reapply just to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow. Make it look really perfect again. Then for concealer, I use this L'Oreal concealer in the color 01 Light. Because I'm very pale, I need the lightest color possible. This is actually a really cheap concealer but I find it amazing like I've had some expensive ones that just aren't as good I do really love the NARS concealer but it just runs out so quickly and it's so expensive it just doesn't seem worth it so yeah with the concealer obviously I go under my under eyes which is the most important bit on my chin forehead here and then just anywhere where there's like little spots or anything that I need to cover up I like to go down the centre of my nose as well, big spot there. I think getting a good concealer is really important, especially for your under eyes, because if you get a bad one, it can just kind of sit into all your wrinkles and it looks really cakey and not nice at all. So this one's really good, especially for the price. So then I just blend all of that in as well. It's way easier in this mirror. I literally couldn't see what I was doing in the viewfinder. <laughs> I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows a little bit because I couldn't really see what I was doing in the viewfinder and they just don't look the best. Okay, I think that's much better for my eyebrows. Then just to set my eyebrows, like I said earlier, I use this Refi setting gel, which I actually really love. So I just go over the eyebrows. It can look a little bit white to start with, but it kind of soaks in and goes clear. So then to contour, I've got this Tarte foundation stick, which I use as a contour. And I think the key with contour is just to go a few shades lighter than your actual skin colour. The mistake that I always used to make is I'd use a contour stick that was much darker than my skin colour and it just wouldn't look nice. You kind of overall look too dark, but then you'd see the marks from the contour stick and stuff like that. So I just like to really just use a tiny little bit. You don't need too much at all. So then just buff it all out with the same brush again. Then I like to just pull this down my neck just so my neck doesn't look really pale compared to my face. Then for blusher, I just really love this NARS Taj Mahal blusher. Again, I've used this for years and probably won't stop using it. You literally need the tiniest amount. If you use too much, you're gonna have two big orange streaks down the side of your face, which you don't want. So just a tiny little bit. The brush I'm using is a Dior, it says number 16, in case anyone wants it, it's really good. Really good blusher brush, again, had this for years, so 
hopefully they still sell it. I like to kind of get the blusher more in this area than on the apples of my cheeks just because I find it kind of lifts my face. I've got quite a big, big face. So anything we can do to slim down. I then use a Kaluki brush and this Becca Cosmetics Soft Light Blurring Powder. And I just use this under my eyes just to kind of set everything. I don't know if anyone remembers that trend where I think Kim Kardashian started it where you had the white under eyes with the powder. Yeah, that was horrendous. I definitely did that trend. But this one's more of like an orangey color, so it just kind of sets everything. It looks really natural. Then not really sure why, but I do my mascara after all that. <laughs> rather than actually with my eyes. So this is a brown mascara that I use. I just find black on me, because I'm quite pale, it just looks really kind of stark. I will use black if I'm going out, like on a night out or something, and I want a kind of glam look, but it just looks a little bit over the top on me for daytime. Okay, then to finish off for lipstick, I use this NARS lipstick. It's called Antia. I think. I think it might have been a limited edition one, but I've just made it last me forever. I really love it because it kind of makes your lips look nice and plump and quite natural. I never sweep my lipstick on. I always dab it on, especially with this one because the colour can look really strong. I then like to use my finger just to kind of blot it and make it look really nice and natural. As you can see at the moment, it looks a little bit too much for a daytime look, so just use your finger. I'll then go over it with a little bit of NYX lip gloss in the color Butter Gloss. I just find this kind of makes it easier to even out the lips, making sure everything's really even. I literally get the tiniest little bit. If you use too much of this, it can look really nasty. So I'll just go over. making sure everything's nice and even okay guys so this is the finished look I know it felt like it took quite a long time to get through that routine but I think it's just because I was explaining everything as I was going on a normal day it would only take me about 10 to 15 minutes to actually do this routine so it is really quick simple and easy to do I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've taken some small tips and tricks from it I know I'm not a professional but this is just how I do my routine so hopefully you guys can take something from it as well because I really enjoy watching these videos and watching other people do videos like this because I take most of my tips from other watching other people as well if you have enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and also I've got many other videos on my channel for you to watch as well so I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next time